Hello everyone. Today's video is about growing parsley hydroponically using the Kratky method. In this video, you will see how to grow beautiful, delicious parsley in Folgers coffee jars. I drank the coffee first, of course, and I drink lots of coffee. So what do you do with all the empty containers? They make excellent containers for growing plants using the Kratky method. If you don't have Folgers containers, no worries. The wide mouth glass mason jars work really nicely or any other jar that fits a three inch net cup. For those of you who are new to the Kratky method, it is a hydroponic method of growing plants using water rather than soil as a growing medium. If you want more information about how to use the Kratky method, you can click the link appearing here at the top of the screen and I will link to it below in the description box. To get things going, I start my seeds in rock wool. Here you can see the rock wool I use. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. First, I soak the rock wool in water to saturate them. Then I'm ready to put the seeds in. These are the seeds I'm using. This is triple curled parsley from Todd's Seed Company. I put two seeds in each of the four rock wool cubes. I'm going to plant one of these in soil and the other three in my Folgers coffee containers. Once I'm done putting the seeds in the holes, I pinch them closed a little and make sure that there's a little water in the plastic container that the rock wool is in. And then I slip the container into a plastic bag to trap in the humidity and create a sort of mini greenhouse for the seeds to start out in. If I had the lid to the container, I would use that, but somehow I misplaced that. And now we wait. So now it is two weeks later and you can see that the seeds have germinated in three of the Rockwell cubes and the fourth one nothing. I'm growing these as singular seedlings to grow into mature parsley plants. Here you can see I grew a whole tray of these as microgreens and they are actually quite delicious as microgreens and very easy to grow. More about that in another video. These seedlings I'm growing individually as herbs so I want to grow them to a much bigger size than the microgreens. Okay, it is four weeks since I planted these seeds and they are ready to transplant into containers. You can transplant the seedlings once you see their roots coming out from the bottom of the Rockwell cube. You can see the fourth cube eventually did produce a seedling, but that took a lot longer than the three other cubes. Before I transfer the seedlings into their new containers, I need to mix up a batch of water with nutrients to feed them since they will be growing hydroponically and the water by itself doesn't have the nutrients the plants need. Here I am using a simple to mix hydro formula called Grow Big from Fox Farms. I've also used Master Blend as a hydroponic formula, but I find this one easier to mix up and it works fine on my non-fruiting plants such as lettuce, basil, and parsley. The master blend I found works better for my fruiting plants like tomatoes and cucumbers. I use a clean gallon container to mix my formulas and I mark it with a sharpie so I know which has my grow big formula and which has the master blend. To use the grow big formula you just measure out two teaspoons into a gallon of water and shake. I'm going to use these handy Folgers jars to contain my plants. If you don't have Folgers jars then just use glass mason jars. And I have these net cups to suspend the plants above the water. I fill the jars with the hydroponic water solution to a level just at where the net cup begins so that the roots that have developed can reach the water and the rock wool can stay wet. So I put the rock wool cube into the net cup and then I fill it around with clay pebbles. The clay pebbles fill in the gaps to block out the light from coming through to the water. We don't want to encourage algae growth. They also retain moisture and keep the plant hydrated and because they are porous they help to maintain a good water to oxygen ratio for the plant. The clay pebbles are sold specifically for hydroponic use. I have a link in the description box below. Once I'm finished transplanting all three cubes in the Folgers jar, I set them under a fluorescent light. This one is 6500 Kelvin which is a blue light similar to daylight. Okay, let's take a quick look at the plants. It's a little more than two weeks later and we can see that all three plants are growing nicely. Now it is four weeks since I transplanted the seedlings into their new home and you can see how much they've grown. They are no longer little seedlings and you can harvest some of the outer stems and the plant will continue to grow more from the middle. Let's take a look at the roots. Yes, they look nice and healthy 
and the water level is still fine four weeks later, but you can see how much lower it is than a month ago. These are really very pretty to use as garnish or to use in your cooking or your salads. And here you have the plant six weeks after transplanting the seedlings. I've been harvesting the outer leaves, which is where you will find most of the mature leaves. So that's it for growing parsley hydroponically using the Kraft Key method. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, or comment. I really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. Bye.